You know, if it wasn't for a North Augusta man, there might never have been a Watergate scandal. Richard Nixon could have been considered one of our most successful presidents, and Woodward and Bernstein would be a couple of old retired journalism professors at a community college. But that's not what happened. And it didn't happen because of Frank Wills. In the summer of 1972, Wills was working in Washington, D.C. as an $80 a week security guard when he stumbled upon the biggest political scandal in U.S. history. It was his discovery of a break-in at the Watergate office complex that would lead to the downfall of a president and the eventual election of a Georgian, Jimmy Carter, to the White House. And it would forever change the face of Washington politics. All because Frank Wills was doing his job. While patrolling the Watergate in 1972, Wills, then 23, noticed some door latches had been taped. It's an old trick, often used by regular employees who don't want the door to lock behind them if they're taking a break or sneaking a smoke. But it's a security man's duty to remove the tape, which Wills did. An hour and a half later, he discovered the doors had been retaped. He called the police and history answered. Five men were arrested and the Watergate scandal began to unfold. The story could end there, with Frank Wills as the common man champion. But as the author F. Scott Fitzgerald once noted, show me a hero and I'll write you a tragedy. Wills was rewarded for his diligence with a raise of $2.50. He eventually quit that security job and got another, but that didn't pay enough, so he sought other vocations. One of these was movie actor. He actually played himself in All the President's Men. In the years that followed, Wills went from job to job to job. He finally settled in North Augusta to care for his aging mother who had suffered a stroke. Together they survived on her social security checks. In 1979, Wills was convicted of shoplifting and fined $20. In 1983, he was convicted of shoplifting a pair of sneakers from an Augusta store and sentenced to one year in prison. His mother passed away in 1993, and in 2001, he himself died from a brain tumor. Frank Wills had a sad legacy. He spent his final years going to the public library and reading and taking care of his cats. His action is remembered. Frank Wills' log entry made on June 17, 1972 at 1.47 a.m. is memorialized now in the National Archives. After his death, the congregation at Mount Transfiguration Baptist Church, of which Frank Wills was a member, erected a memorial. Standing in the North Augusta Church's graveyard, the five-foot-tall cross marker reads, Our Native Son in 1972 discovered the Watergate break-in. Frank Wills may have never made a lot of money, but he's not forgotten, neither by history nor by those who knew him. <laughs>